So similar, similar to our last video uh, where we used a picture of a lamp um, to kind of sketch and stencil in our uh, lamp, I'm going to do the same now for a Coke bottle. The difference being that a Coke bottle is hollow in the middle. So we're going to have to just do an extra step to make our Coke bottle hollow. Okay, so again, I've got a front view of my Coke bottle. So I'm going to go into the front panel here. I'm going to go view, image plane, import image. You can see our Coke image there. Just open that. There we go. So it's similar again. Our Coke bottle is shot directly from the front. It's just going to make it that bit easier. Um, same start as the lamp. All we have to do is start off with a cylinder. Press 5 there. Back into my front view, press 5. Again, I'm just going to scale it up so these top edges are just meeting exactly at the edge of the Coke. Okay, that seems fine. So I'm just going to grab my face here. Again, select that area, hold down shift, deselect the middle, and then I'm going to start extruding, edit mesh, extrude, press W, move it down. Remember G as well is your last tool you use, so I'll be using G quite a bit here. So that's the bottom section done. I'm just going to come up to the top here, grab this area of polygons and hold shift just to deselect the middle section. So it leaves us with the top row of polygons selected. And I'm going to go extrude W. Again, just move it up. If you ever get lost, remember you can press F just to focus in on exactly the area that you're working on and what you have selected.
Okay, so we're just nearing the top here. Again, this top part has a bigger angle curve in it, so I'm using more polygons to make it smoother looking. Okay, so there we have our Coke bottle. Right, the thing that we were saying before is the Coke bottle is hollow, so we're going to have to make it hollow in this. First thing we've got to do is just have that same top row polygon select. I'm going to go edit mesh, extrude, press R. We're just going to scale it in first, okay? So that first scale is going to determine how thick our glass is going to be. So that seems about right to me, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to come into our view here. And I'm going to press 4 just to go into wireframe mode. And I'm going to extrude, move it down. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the exact same process that I've done to make the bottle, to make it hollow. So I'm just going to follow that line the whole way down. So it's kind of like a repeat of exactly what I've done. Only I'm working on the inside of the bottle now. And it's wise that you don't scale it too hard. Otherwise what you'll have is the inside of your bottle appearing on the outside. And if you carry that the whole way down, what you end up with is a fully complete hollowed out cook bottle. And again, the last thing to do after you do that is go normals, soften the edge.